you want to know how to register your company on e-filing so you can submit returns for that company, check out this video. We're going to give you a step-by-step, -step, easy to follow guide on what you need to do. So how it works is that if you're doing it yourself, you're actually going to add your company onto your own individual profile with e-filing. So I'm not going to go into it now, but I presume that we're dealing with companies where you're the registered representative at SARS and you're allowed to put the company's profile on your own. So you're going to log into your normal e-filing profile, your individual e-filing profile as per normal as if you're doing your own tax and come to this page. There towards the top of the page, you'll see the three little dots. You're going to click on the three little dots, go to portfolio management. To come up to this page and then you'll see we have blocked out my name uh it's your it'll say your your own name because it's your own profile you're gonna go add portfolio so you're gonna add the to add the company's portfolio i was also presuming that uh, the company hasn't already been added onto anybody's portfolio so just starting from scratch here okay it'll come up with this portfolio name so you can just put your company name Portfolio type, the drop down arrow, you can click on organization for the company. Your portfolio has been added successfully, press OK. OK, so going back to this portfolio management page, like I said, the top one will be your personal and the bottom one will now be the company. So you're going to click on go to portfolio on the right hand side. And then it's going to go take you to here, you click on organizations at the top. I left organization again, then register new, click on that. You're going to come onto this page and like I said, we're going to presume you are the registered representative and you can add to your profile. So where it says capture entity details, just put in company name, I mean select company, put the registered name, registration number of the company, tax reference number of the company. Go add taxpayer bottom right. Okay, so for mine, this came up as system default, so I click system default and continue. Presume yours will be the same. And then summary, the name of the company, and then you should probably also, what I had to do is click on manage text types, it takes you to a different page. And then obviously each company is different, but for, for mine, for example, I had to click on income tax, or so make sure that they had income tax, provisional tax, and IT admin penalties. Because those are the three types of you know returns that I'll, I'll need to be filing as an income tax and the provisional tax. So you might have page you earn and other types of that, maybe other types of tax, but just the basic ones, you can do at least need income tax, provisional tax, and the IT admin penalties. So that would be under managed tax types if you click on that. And then you you'll click on down on the last page, and then this will take you back to your home page. So now essentially it'll be your, your profile and then the company's profile and now it'll let you view taxpayer on the right hand side as it does with your own individual profile. So once you've clicked on view taxpayer, essentially then you can you can access the returns, their previous returns, you know, or you can start from scratch, start a new provisional tax return, start a new, you know, ITR 14 for the company. So that's just a nice easy way to show you how you can go about um, registering or setting up your, your company on e-filing so that you can submit the tax returns for, for your company. Just drop a comment below if there's any other thing you'd like to have a video on. And remember to subscribe for more videos about tax and income tax and e-filing and SARS.